Carlos Martinez from the Mexican city of Tijuana says he witnesses murder almost on a daily basis. A resident of the Zona Norte, one of this border city's most violent neighborhoods, he's no longer shocked by the terror his community lives through. There's a lot of crime, murders, shootings, kidnappings, extortion. All the worst things you can imagine happen here. There's a big demand for drugs and the cartels fight over the territory where they sell. There are more deaths today than during the Mexican Revolution. It's just part of normal life for us. Now 33 years old, Carlos can't remember his neighborhood being any other way. This neighborhood, Tijuana's Zona Norte, is among the most dangerous places in all of North America. It's lethal mixture of desperate migrants, prostitution, deportees, drug addiction and organized crime playing out in violent terms along the US border in a region where 96% of crimes go unsolved. That impunity, says Carlos, has a lot to do with no one wanting to stand up to the cartels. When we see violent crime, we just ignore it. We don't want problems. If the gangsters found out you reported a crime, they'll punish you. They'll burn your hands, cut out your tongue, or decapitate you. Why would you want that? But while impunity here is bad, it's even worse elsewhere in Mexico. Indeed, many displaced migrants arrive here from Guerrero State in the south, identified by criminal justice advocates as the worst for impunity, where they say data show more than 99% of crimes go unsolved. Mexico's country-wide rate for solving crimes, according to the NGO Zero Impunity, just 1.3%. Juan Manuel Hernández, the president of the Baja California Security Council, says politicians at all levels are failing and need to step up. The first thing we need is for our political leaders to recognize the problem in the first place, and there has been no political will to do that. The federal government has not done its job, but ultimately this problem is solved from the bottom, at the municipal level, where these problems begin. With violent crime a fact of daily life in parts of Mexico, the desire by some here to cross to the other side of this border, by any means necessary, only grows. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Tijuana, Mexico.